Welcome people of Planet Earth and all planets beyond. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Josh and recently I picked up this Dope Scruples Tea and this was like in late 80s, early 90s board game, card game and it got me thinking what other cool dope vintage board game teas are out there? Well I looked on eBay and I found a few so let's take a look at them. Board game tees are generally somewhat underappreciated in my opinion, uh, but there are some really cool ones out there. I actually was really impressed by some of the t-shirts I found uh, while I was searching eBay for hours and hours and hours. So uh, let's go ahead and let's take a look at the first t-shirt on this list. Now remember this list is super subjective. It's just my opinion. It's what I have searched through on eBay and found every nook and cranny I could find to find these tees and these are the ones that came up as the coolest tees that I could find. All the links are in the description below if you want to check them out for yourself. Be my guest. They're super cool. So the first tee we're going to look at is this Oodles tee at number 10. Uh, I don't really remember the game all that well or how to play it per se, but I do remember seeing it in my parents' board game closet. Um, but if you were to go to like a board game convention, uh, you would definitely get mad respect for wearing a t-shirt like this. It's like wearing, you know, super obscure band tees, but just with board games. So the next up at number nine is this Play It Straight board game, which was clearly an anti-drug and alcohol board game, uh, you know, with all of the public service announcements and all of the, you know, the, the effort to get kids off of drugs in the late 80s and early 90s, this definitely fits right in there. Uh, I've never played the game and I can't seem to find a copy of the game anywhere, but uh, even if you don't have the game, you can have a t-shirt and it's pretty cool. All right, and number eight is one of the more valuable t-shirts and probably more well-known board game t-shirts and that's because it's on a Stanley DeSantis tag and it's this get out of jail free card definitely a Monopoly Milton Bradley property uh, definitely cool um, obviously gets a boost uh, from the fact that it's a Stanley DeSantis tag um, the t-shirts not all that exciting that's which is kind of why it's on the lower end of this list uh, but it's still cool it's definitely cool to have a Stanley DeSantis tag and it's definitely cool to have a Monopoly tee uh, so this sort of meets both way, uh, both worlds, though it itself is not the most interesting tee, it's still pretty cool. Now at number seven, we have Twister, the very first appearance of Twister on this list, but not the last. This one is also by Stanley DeSantis, which does, you know, boost the value up. So basically, if it has Stanley DeSantis tag, you're going to look at a higher dollar piece, just because there's a cult following around Stanley DeSantis t-shirts. This one is super cool. It's definitely interesting. Got the front hit, uh, got the, you know, the, the, the spinner that you would spin to actually choose uh, your place on the, I guess what we call it a board or a mat or something like that, but still a cool tee here. Definitely one to look out for. Now at number six is a game I've never heard of. I did look up and it is a game that exists. <laughs> um, it's called Don't Panic. I just thought the graphic here was cool. It's just a cool looking graphic. Love the colors, the black and the blue. Always a you know good color, cool color way. Um, so nothing super crazy. I've never played this game. If you have, let me know in the comments if you were a fan of Don't, uh, Don't Panic. But I think the tee, it looks really cool and definitely would wear it if I found it. Now at number five, we have Operation. Operation shows up on this list. This is probably one of the more common t-shirts you might find out there. Actually, this t-shirt and sort of subtle variations have been reproduced many times over the last many decades, but this one is one of the OGs in the 90s. Super cool. Loved playing Operation, though, in my family of, you know, eight siblings. It didn't last very long. Uh, the batteries died out pretty quick and you know all my little siblings wanted to do was just hold the little you know tweezers right on the metal part and just go all the time so my parents didn't want to replace the batteries all that often but it's still a cool tee now number four is not technically a board game uh, but it's a card game it's a trading card game i could have included trading cards in this uh, but largely i didn't want to because that's sort of a genre all uh, on its own there's a lot of big t-shirts in that genre but this one i want to sneak in because i thought it was super cool and super underrated and that is the redemption trading card game it was like a christian like tcg uh in the 90s <laughs> uh this is like the perfect combination of jesus t and you know board game nerd tea uh this may not be available when you go back to and when you actually look through the link because i'm probably gonna buy it this thing is super dope gotta have it uh so uh, if it's not there it's because i bought it uh otherwise uh it's maybe look out for some other ones but uh definitely one of the most interesting teas and probably one of the most niche like rare teas on this list now next up at number three is uno one of the most popular games 
of all time. We've all played it. If you haven't, you're missing out. Uh, but this t-shirt was from the 80s. It's really cool. This is one of the more OG uh, board card game t-shirts you will find out there. Probably from like 19, early 80s, uh, 1980, 1983, something around there, I bet. Uh, definitely a cool t-shirt. And if you're a collector of board games and you want the t-shirt to match, this is probably as OG as it's going to come in terms of Uno. Now at number two, who of you remember this game from the 90s? And that is Cooties. Uh, I remember uh, in the late 90s, all my friends wanted to play this game. Uh, I don't even remember how to play it, but they are always playing it. didn't seem all that exciting to me, but here we have all of these little worms representing cooties. If you remember that, it was a pretty, you know, sort of unique 90s, early 2000s fad. Uh, but the game has a t-shirt and this is it. Super cool. So if you're a super fan of cooties, the you know board game, this t-shirt is perfect for you. Uh, definitely has those mid to late 90s vibes. So uh, might be the perfect gift for your favorite cooties fan. Now before we get to number one, I do want to remind you that the links to all of these t-shirts are in the description below. So if you want to check them out and pick them up for yourself or just a observe and get more details about them. Uh, all the links are in the description. All right, at number one, we have the second appearance of Twister, which is one of the most popular games of all time, like I said. Uh, but this t-shirt, it's not a Stanley DeSantis tee. This tee is much earlier than that, probably from the 80s, it looks like, from the Screen Stars tag. Uh, and I just think that this t-shirt, outside of the fact that it's a size of medium, which is really just like a modern size small, um, if it were a much a bit larger size, it would be much cooler. Uh, but I just think this t-shirt is super perfect. It's got Twister on the front, just super simple, super simple, but the back hit has the whole like Twister uh, game board on it. And I think that's super cool. The lines of different colors, it's like just streetwear-ish. It kind of gives you sort of like, you know, that sort of, um, you know, off-white vibe. Just seems like something that would be really popular today and I think it looks super dope having the front and the back hit so this t-shirt right here this twister tee is my number one if it was larger it would be better but it's not it's still super cool all right so that is the top 10 let me know what your favorite board games are in the description below and maybe we'll hunt for those t-shirts I think board games might be a sort of under appreciated secret hype train vintage tee uh, genre so maybe when we pick a few up here and there if you find them uh, they're definitely super interesting and definitely rare in niche. All right, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.